Now let's do one in which we're raising a number, written in scientific notation, to a negative power. We have a product within the parentheses, 3 and 45 hundredths times 10 to the negative 3. We have the exponent, negative 4, outside the parentheses. The exponent outside the parentheses applies to each of the factors inside the parentheses. So I apply the exponent negative 4 to the 3.45 and I apply the exponent negative 4 to 10 to the negative 3. Now remember that negative 4 exponent tells you to take the reciprocal. So I can do 1 over 3.45 to the 4th. I probably should have parentheses so there's no doubt that the fourth applies to all of them. So a negative exponent says take the reciprocal. So 3.45 to the negative 4 is 1 over 3.45 to the fourth. Now to raise a power to a power, I keep the base and multiply the exponents. A negative 3 times negative 4 is 12. Keeping the same thing we've established before. To do the evaluations, I want to get the exponents positive. But to keep up with the powers, I deal with the rules of exponents. So to raise a power to a power, I keep the base, multiply the exponents. Now on the calculator, I can evaluate 1 divided by 3.45 to the 4th. And all you have to do is to put in the parentheses, 1 divided by 3.45, close parentheses, raised to the 4th power, and you will get... 0.00070587. Now you might want to stop the tape and take your calculator and work it through to make sure you get this on the calculator. And of course I've got times 10 to the 12th. Now we need to put this one in scientific notation. So to get it in scientific notation, I need to multiply here by 1,000, which is 10 cubed. Because I need to move my decimal 1, 2, 3 places to the right. So that means I need to multiply the decimal part by 1,000 or 10 cubed. Now, of course, if I multiply by 1,000 or by 10 cubed to keep everything equal, I've got to divide by 10 cubed. So once I multiply 7.0587 by 10 cubed, I get 7.0587. And to divide powers having the same base, I keep the base and subtract the exponents. 12 subtract 3 is 9. Now if I round off 7.05 to two significant digits, it would be 7.1. So my answer is 7.1 times 10 to the 9th. Let me point something else out. Here, I showed you how to get the uh, .00070587 by taking the reciprocal. What I wanted to do was re-emphasize that if you have a negative exponent, you can evaluate it by doing the reciprocal to the positive exponent. Of course, with most calculators, you can raise to the negative power with no problem. So like with the TI-83, I can do the uh, 3.45 raised to the negative 4 with no problem. <coughs> and you can see we got the same answer. So you might want, as you do your exercises, you might want to do it the easier way.
Now we're ready to see if you really understand what I've just covered. I'm going to give you some exercises. What you need to do is to copy the exercises, stop the tape, work the exercises, and then restart the tape to check your answers. For these exercises, I want you to evaluate and express the answers in scientific notation. The first one, 4 times 10 to the 5th raised to the 4th power. The second one, 3.1 times 10 to the negative 21st power raised to the 3rd power. The third, 5 times 10 to the negative 5 raised to the negative 8. You need to check your answers. If you disagree with any of these answers, be sure to check with someone. If I'm wrong, please notify your instructor so that we can fix the tape. If you're wrong, be sure to note your mistake and correct it. Now let's look at a problem in which we combine raising a power to a power with division. Of course, based on the order of operation, we do the exponents before we do the division. So I'm going to raise the power to the power first. Now this negative 4 exponent applies to both factors in the parentheses. So I can write it as 2.63 to the negative 4 times 10 to the negative 23 to the negative 4. And then of course that would be divided by 4.1 times 10 to the 21. I can do 2.63 to the negative 4 on the calculator. And we get 0 0.0209 0 and so forth. I'm just going to write part of it, so I'll just write the 0 0.0209. 0 times 10. Okay, now to raise a power to a power, I keep the base and multiply the exponents. So we need to multiply the negative 23 times the negative 4. Now negative times the negative is positive, and 4 times 23, let's see, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 2 is 8, 1 is 9. So 4 times 23 is 92, divided by 4.1 times 10 to the 21st. 